Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it today because I saw a headline come through the VA's news feed that I get from their Office of Public and Intergovernmental Affairs that really grabbed my attention because I'm curious exactly to what they're doing and what uh, will be happening. So the title of this uh, uh, announcement is New VA Mission Statement recognizes sacred commitment to all veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors. So the key there is new, new VA mission statement. So what is it and what can we kind of foresee will happen uh, with regard to any sort of cascading effects of changing the mission statement? So please hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all those good things because it really does matter uh, in the YouTube world. And it also gives me an indication that that everybody's tracking and we're doing good. So. Uh, I, I'm, you know, many hands make work, uh, that light work, like I said before, uh, to get the get the information out there. So without uh, further delay, let's jump into this. I'm just going to read through it, give my two cents along the way. So new, vi uh, new VA mission statement recognizes sacred commitment to all veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors. Today, the Department of Veterans Affairs announced an updated version of its 1959 mission statement. The new mission statement is to fulfill President Lincoln's promise to care for those who have served in our nation's military and for their families, caregivers, and survivors. Now, I'll throw out there right now, I am excited with the fact that they're including families, caregivers, and survivors because that is an important piece to the, to the veteran world, right? Um, so I'm glad that they added that. And, and in addition to it just being the right thing to do, just kind of a side note here, everything that we have is laws that have been passed. Those laws have been passed because people complained enough or pushed hard enough with our congressional representatives. And then they took it and put in uh, you know, a, a bill or what have you, and then next thing you know, it gets enacted. So I think that it's fair to say that the more people you have in any specific group championing some sort of legislation, the punch will be bigger when you have more people in that group. So this is including more people and it, and it rightfully should. And I've had this argument or this point many times when I talk with legislators that it's not just the number of veterans, right? Today, in the U.S., we have roughly 16.5 million veterans in the, in the U.S. But when you incorporate spouses, surviving spouses, dependent children under the age of 18, uh, just to use that, that rough number, and then on top of that, you can add caregivers and so forth, um, you're looking at, I don't know, what, 30 million? So now all of a sudden you have a way bigger demographic in which we have to punch when we're asking for specific types of legislation. Now, and, and I'll get off this soapbox in a second. There's two ways, right? One is you yourself bang on the door of your Congress uh, person, whoever that may be. Or if you don't have the energy to do that, spend 20 bucks a month or whatever the number is or a year or whatever the number is and belong to you know American Legion or DAV or Veterans of Foreign Wars or wherever and that money goes into the kitty and they have people there lobbying for us in DC consistently and that is another way to kind of do our part right I've signed up with I don't even know how many seven eight ten uh, different ones uh, so everything from the, the um, Scottish American military um, society, right? From that all the way to the Retired Enlisted Association to American Legion, you know, the, the list goes on. So um, just, just food for thought. Anyway, let's jump back in to this article. The new mission statement is inclusive of all those who have served in our nation's military, including women veterans, as well as veteran families, caregivers, and survivors. VA currently serves more than 600,000 women veterans, the fastest growing cohort of veterans. VA also serves more than 50,000 veteran caregivers and more than 600,000 veteran survivors and millions of veterans who did not serve in combat. In crafting the new 
message, uh, the new mission statement, VA surveyed roughly 30,000 veterans. Among veterans surveyed, the new version of the VA's mission statement was chosen over the current version by every age group, by men and by women, by LGBTQ plus veterans, and by white, black, African American, Hispanic, Latino, Asian, and American Indian slash Alaska Native Americans. Whew, that was a mouthful. So, by everybody, by all of us, um, and you know the. I don't know. I I I love to think that the majority of us or all of us all understand that we all chewed the same dirt in one aspect or another, and I am all about the fact that hey, look, you signed the dotted line. What the military did with you was what the military did with you. So whether you went to combat or you stayed here or whatever the case was, doesn't matter. Everybody signed the same piece of paper, had to go through all the same process and deal with the same things. And a lot of times you don't have control over what happens to you. So uh, whether somebody went to combat or not is is irrelevant for, for me when it comes to being a veteran and being part of uh, something great. So uh, we're all brothers and sisters. Here's the the quote from the secretary, uh, secretary of the VA. Whenever a, any veteran, family member, caregiver, or survivor walks by a VA facility, we want them to see themselves in the mission statement on the outside of the building. We have, we are here to serve all veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors. And now our mission statement reflects exactly that. In addition. To two rounds of surveys, VA conducted dozens of small group engagements with veterans to understand what was most important to them in a VA mission statement, then incorporated that feedback into quantitative research. The new mission statement reflects that VA serves all of the heroes who have served in our country or who have served our country regardless of their race, gender, background, sexual orientation, religion, zip code, or identity. The previous mission statement was, and this is, I'm going to read the previous mission statement for those that don't remember what it was. Uh, it's going to ring a bell as soon as I start to read it. And then I'm going to read the new one again so you can have the compare and contrast closer together. I don't like how they spread it apart. So the previous mission statement was to fulfill President Lincoln's promise to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan by serving and honoring the men and women who are America's veterans. That's the old one. The new one, to fulfill President Lincoln's promise to care for those who have served in our nation's military and for their families, caregivers, and survivors. So it's a little more succinct. It's a little more, you know, in today's words, um, you know, and it takes out the, the combat piece, right? Born the battle kind of takes that part out of it. Um, so, you know, is it a good move? Sure. I mean, the, the language back in the Civil War days was a little bit different uh, than, than how we talk today, right? So in, in the mission statement prior was an actual quote from President Lincoln from that time. So that's why it, it sounds a little bit old-fashioned-y. So... Um, even though that that even though that mission statement was was back in the 50s. So in any case, let's go on. The previous mission statement is posted in roughly 50% of the VA facilities. Over the coming months, VA's new mission statement will replace the previous version. The Secretary of the VA will host an event today, which was the 16th, which was yesterday. Um, so he he so he hosted an event by the time you watch this, uh, commemor commemorating the new mission statement featuring speeches from women veteran, from a woman veteran, a caregiver, and a survivor about what it means to feel included in the VA's mission. The event begins at 2 p.m. and uh, will be live streamed. So there may be a, a recorded version uh, popping up somewhere of that. But again, super glad personally that they are including everybody who is affected by service 
obviously the veteran themselves is is uh, impacted uh, and then the spouse and caregivers dependent children all of that stuff so great move in my opinion by the VA um, and I love that they kept uh, President Lincoln in in the new mission statement because uh, you know really he is the you know the main proponent and catalyst of everything with regard to the care for for our veteran community so with that we'll go ahead and conclude it there thanks so much i really appreciate you and remember if we don't take care of each other something went wrong <laughs>